holidays, keep them off the streets, keep them on the straight and narrow, but also they bring in Jesus, which for sure will do that exact same thing, but times 10. And when I was a kid, that, that was no different. My dad left home when I was three years old, and my brother was seven years older than me, so he was on a totally different program than me. So a lot of times I was on my own. And uh, I had great friends that always wanted me to go to church. So we, we went to church. My mom always wanted me to go to church. And I am the like poster child for just because you go to church doesn't mean you're a believer. And when I was at church for years and years and years, I like to compete. I'm a competitor. I would try to count as high as I could. I would count. I got up to over a thousand several times. And what I would always do though is I would make sure I heard one little snippet that the pastor said so that when my mom asked me what I learned, I could say, oh, I learned about Noah and the ark and those animals, they were great, weren't they? And she'd say, all right, you were listening, that's great. But I was such a faker, I was such an imposter, and I didn't really care about the Lord, to be honest with you. And it wasn't until I got to be in professional baseball, my roommate at the time was named Blaine Boyer, who's still a big, big pitcher today. And Blaine uh, lived a different kind of life than I'd ever seen from somebody who was my age. He, he actually lived what he said he believed which was really cool for me because I met a lot of people in my life up to that point and said, hey, you need to go to church, but they didn't live any differently than I did. So I said, well, why do I need to go to church if I'm doing the same thing you're doing? Why do I need to go to church if I'm talking the same way you're talking? Why do I need to go to church if I'm drinking the same thing you're drinking? But Blaine didn't talk the same way I talked. He didn't drink the same thing I drank. He didn't go to the same places I went. And so it was cool for me, and I saw something different in him, and I want to challenge all you guys in here today because you have your all... You all have your own circle of influence. No matter the smallest little girl like you here, or the, the oldest person here, which I won't point at. <laughs> My teammates will point to me, I'm the oldest player on the team now. Um, you all have your circle of influence. What I mean by that is there's people around you that are always watching. There's people around you that think you're pretty cool. And if you live your life a different way, showing the light of Jesus, that is infectious. People notice. It. People see it. When I saw that in Blaine, I wanted it. I said, that dude's happy. He's not just acting like he's happy. He's not just telling people he's happy. There's a joy in his eyes that's different. So I hired an agent, and by the, by the help of Blaine and my agent, Steve, that led me to a conference I went to, and I was so fed up with people wanting me to go to chapel and Bible studies and church that I went to this Christian conference to prove everybody wrong. I thought Blaine was pretty cool, and I thought what he was living was pretty cool, but I didn't know about this God thing. I certainly didn't know about this Jesus thing. I definitely didn't know about that Holy Spirit thing. But at that conference, I was listening to the man speak, and he was talking, and for the first time, my ears opened, and I had ears to hear, finally, for the first time in my life, and I received the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I know for a fact that I had heard it plenty of times before that. I just never listened to it. So, I say that because y'all are here, and I don't want you to run home and get posters out and run around and tell everybody that they're going to hell if they don't learn Jesus. That's not what I'm telling you. But what I'm telling you is that if you get asked that question, Somebody comes up to you and says, man, why are you different? Why are you so happy? Why do you have that joy in your eyes? Why, what's cool about you? You say, man, Jesus is cool about me. And that's always a cool answer. Whether they know it at the time or not, they'll remember it. And when, that, when, when Blaine said that to me back in the day, I looked at him and I was like, that's weird. <laughs> and now I'm like, man, that was so cool that he stood up for what he believed. And he actually, in today's world with all the Facebook and and Twitter and all this stuff, the peer pressure can be really, really tough on you young guys. I know it can be. It's way tougher than it was for me. But I tell you right now that if you can stay strong, stand up for what you believe in, and live your life so that people can know what you believe just by the way you love others, man, you're going to be rewarded that much more in heaven. So um, that was my encouragement for you today. I'm glad I got to share with you today. Does anybody have any questions? You got a question. 